Hello and welcome! Getting started with Odoo. In this video, we will discover the power of filters. We'll have a look at the search options, predefined filters, group by functionalities, and we will do some advanced search. But let's go for it. In order to give you a good view on how it works, I will show you some example in a demo database. Now here, we are at the customer section. If you take a look at your upper right corner, you will see that the search bar is appearing, where we will find all options. Well, this search bar is available for all views, except the form view. Now, if we go here to the icon, we can see here we have the Kanban view. Well, when I click on it, the search option bar is available, even for the list view. But, like I said, not for the form view. OK, let's go back to the list view and uh, let's click on the drop down arrow. Well, as you can see, by clicking on it, the search box has appeared. Now, this search box displays all applied filters and allows you to quickly find records by typing and selecting some criteria. Well, let's first have a look at it. The first line shows you favorites. Well, those favorites will appear when you save an advanced search criteria. The second line displays you already predefined filters. And the third line is actually about group by functionalities. Now let's have a first look at the predefined filters. As you can see here, the filter that is enabled is highlighted. That's a customer. And you see it also at the search option bar. Now if I click back on it, I am actually deactivating the filter. So it's very easy to activate a filter. You just need to click on it. Filters can also be combined. So I have first filter on customer. And, for example, I can click on the person filter. And now I'm getting a result by showing me only customers and physical person. Now, the combination of filters is an AND condition. Let me click back on person to deactivate it. And I'm just back here, for example, on the customer filter. OK, let's see what we can do a bit with the search option or the search bar here. I'm entering, for example, two letters and just click on enter. Well, by default, Odoo, for this item, make a search on the name field and gives you all result of what he has found about CH in the string of the name. So as you can see here, above we have 16 results. Now, if we want to have a little bit more specified filter, we could actually re-enter CH, but now going to drop to the drop down, Odoo propose you already to redefine your search and for example here, search actually on the related company. And Odoo will show you some result he has found regarding this CH we've just entered. Well, in this case, I was actually searching for Chamberworks. I just click on it and I got directly my result. You see, it's very easy. Now, let's have a look at the advanced search to remain on the filters. Well, here the advanced search, when we click on it, we have now the possibility to select a specific field. We will do that. And for example, for the customer, I will go to the country. I have some possibilities about the conditions. And I will enter the country I would like to have. In this case, I would like to find all customers related to the United States. Voila. Just click on enter. As you can see above, we have now advanced showing. This is actually the filter you have created. 
containing United States and I have the results. This again applies to filter and it is a AND option. Now, I will show you the difference between an AND option and an OR option. Now, for example, I will just deactivate the filter and here I will search on city. We say OK. I want to have customer where the city is New York or and to make this or condition being applied I click on add condition and now you can see here on the left that the or has appeared. Well I will do the same selecting back city and I will say Detroit. Now when I click on enter I will enable the result. And you can see here that we got the result between New York and Detroit. I told you just before that if you want to have this filter or reuse this filter later on, well you can save this filter. So you can save the result. Why do you do that? Well here just above you have the section save current filter. Well, let's do that. I will give you the name, clients from New York and Detroit. Now I have the possibility to share this filter with all user or just use it for myself by default. By default means every time I will come back in the customer view the filter will be applied automatically. I will just share it for all users and save it. Now, as you can see here now, the filters has appeared in my favorites. And because I've shared it with all users, you have here the small icon appearing. So, next time I come back to my customer and I would like to have this search, I just click on the drop down and click on the filter to get my result. You see, it's very easy. Now let's have a look at the group by function. For that, I will go on the list view. I will activate back my search box and uh, for example here, I will group by per country. So as you can see, the group by functions group records in the list according to your need. You actually create a kind of multiple level filter. Now, for example, we will go here a little bit down to United States and we see that we have 24 results. Now, it just needs for you to click on the drop down arrow to show you actually the example. Odoo allows you to combine also filters with group by. Uh, for example, I would like to have only the companies in this group by. Now I click on companies and if I go back now to United States you see here that I have 10 results and actually it is showing me the 10 company within that group by. You get it? Of course, every filter you generate, every result you generate, well, you can save it and make it to your favorites. It's very easy. Now, regarding the group by, I told you that we could do a multiple level. So, I could group by per country and then group by per company. Now let's see what happened. I go back to the United States result and you can see here that I have a second level of group by per company and now within this company I can also activate the drop down, the drop down sorry, and find my result. Of course, when I click on that line, well, 
I get directly to the form view. So as you can see, it is very easy to use those filters, to combine them and to save them in order to give you the best result you would like to have. So imagine applying that on all business app you have installed. It's very powerful. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much.